Here's how I use the Code Canvas extension to quickly understand the code base I haven't seen before. This is a VS Code extension I built that allows you to see your code on an infinite canvas and zoom out to view dependencies between modules or see where your functions and variables are used throughout the code. We'll have a look at the code for React Flow, which is a library that is used to build these canvas-based UIs. I downloaded the repository from their GitHub and we're now in VS Code. If we check under Packages, there's the React and we can open the SRC. This is going to open all of the files in this code base in our canvas. I like to start by arranging them by folder by pressing Shift 3. F enables the folders so we can see the folder outlines and the names and inside of each folder I would go and use either Shift 1 or Shift 2 to um, arrange the files based on dependencies. While doing this, I'm making sure that files that are imported in other files would go in front of them so that the edges don't overlap. As I'm doing this, I notice that a lot of files from this folder import some of the files from here in the containers. So this means that this folder would need to go in front of them. In here, I noticed a few issues. These files here have circular dependencies, meaning they both import stuff from each other. So if we have a look at these two, it looks like this flow renderer props type is imported in the zoom pane, but also this zoom pane function is imported in the flow renderer. This is a very easy to spot issues like this. So you can refactor and move this type outside so that it's imported in both of the files that need it. But for now, we're going to just try to um, arrange these in a way that still makes sense, even with the circular dependencies. With this layout, I'm able to get a pretty good understanding of what this code base is, how it's structured and what its main components are. It looks like here we've got containers and components. There's some additional components here, which seem to only be imported in this index file and then exported from the main entry point into the application. So these look like components that are just directly made available to the user. These are components that are used throughout the library and inside of the containers. It looks like we have a small styles folder here and the hooks, which they're actions that are being used throughout the components. And it seems like some of them are also exported from the main index file, which means they're also being made available to the user. We have some uh, global state here and some utils and finally the types. Once I get a good overview of everything, I can dive in deeper into specific parts and try to understand what's going on in there. This is also very useful when refactoring because you can very easily see uh, what parts of the code base would be affected if you were to change a file. If you want to use the extension, it's available on the VS Code Marketplace. At the moment, it supports JavaScript, TypeScript, and React, but I plan to add support for other frameworks and languages as well. If you have any feedback, suggestions for improvements or bug reports, you can submit them here or join the Discord server. If you want to keep up with the development, you can subscribe here on YouTube or follow me on Twitter as I plan to post there more often as well. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.